Hello, and welcome to Why I Love Warhammer, the series where I go into an unscripted ramble about why I love something in this hobby. And on today's episode, it's the Imperial Fists, the Sons of Rogal Dawn. <clears throat> and I think ultimately it comes down to a couple of things. One, I like Rogal Dawn. B, there's a certain YouTube personality who I'm very fond of, who's also a huge fan of the Imperial Fists. And the third thing is the colour scheme and how much I respect people who can paint that colour scheme well. So the Imperial Fists are a the, the main legion, not any of the sub-factions. Their armour is yellow, and yellow is hard to paint. If you base coat your models in white, then it looks a bit weird and a bit brownish. You base coat your models in black <clears throat> and it's even harder to paint up. You, it's hard to base coat anything in yellow. <clears throat> the best I've seen is people who base coat in pink and go yellow from there. Uh, but it's a tricky colour to work with and so I just have a lot of respect and a lot of admiration for people who paint yellow. Um, <clears throat> so... But also, they've got good characters. I like, yeah, you know, I, I like the way Rogal Dawn gets depicted by both the canon and the fandom, and I think they've got a good placement in the world of Warhammer Forty Thousand, and the and their successors are also interesting. Although the Black Templars are going to be their own video. So, I here's one of the named characters, and I just think he's really cool looking. He's got that regal looking red cloth, the classic yellow colour scheme, the black fist raised up like that as the logo of the Imperial Fists. He's got the power, he got that power fist. I think the power fist is a really cool weapon because it is just the extreme punching. And yeah, so I, I like that a lot. And he's got, he's still got a gun on his shoulder, which I think is cool. He's got his targeting thing here. I think it's a, yeah, just a, a really cool model and just demonstrates kind of what the Imperial Fists are about. He's also standing on a building, uh, on some rubble there, which looks like he's standing on some fortifications. It's actually quite cool having uh, the Imperial Fists and the Iron Warriors because the Imperial Fists are the masters of creating fortifications and the Iron Warriors of Chaos are masters of siege warfare. So it's kind of the two against each other makes for a very interesting storytelling mechanic. Okay, Rogal Dawn, as he is in the Horus Heresy, I will forgive the fact that he has a Night Lord slain on his diorama base, because I might be a Night Lord fanboy, but I can still appreciate an awesome looking model. Look at him. Just look at him. Resplendent golden armour, holding a chainsword, just in that kind of very regal eye of you know, in a very noble start stance, and it's a beautifully done chainsword. Look at those, look, look at that, look at the pattern on that. He's got the gun there, but he's just kind of at rest right now. The cape is blowing in the wind. It's so, it's like a movie scene. The diorama base, I'm a huge sucker for a diorama base. The armour itself is beautiful, this resplendent gold. He's just looking very noble out there, and he just feels very true for the character. And yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful model, it's a beautiful sculpt, and it really shows Rogal Dawn in all of his nobility. Of course, this is the version of Rogal Dawn I am more familiar with. This is the version of Rogal Dawn from the uh, web series If the Emperor Had the Text-to-Speech Device. This is a comedy series where Rogal Dawn has, A, has the moustache, B, has been pretending to be a centurion for a while and faked his own death. Um, in the lore, Rogal Dawn maybe died, his fist, his hand was all that was left. Um, he could be coming back, it'd be pretty sweet if he did. But yeah, this is the version of Rogal Dawn I'm more familiar with. The voice he has is the version I think of when I think of him speaking. And I think it just you know, is you know, R.I.P. TTS because it was an amazing series. And I think Rogal Dawn in that is the Rogal Dawn I'm most familiar with. 
and so a lot of my love for it will dawn comes from this version in the centurion armor i've genuinely considered getting a centurion painting it up in as an imperial fist centurion buying the lionel johnson model build the lionel johnson model with the helmeted head but take the bare head to use as Rogue War Dawn because I think the, the facial hair matches and I think it would work well and it's the kind of thing that if anyone got the reference they'd know it's Rogue War Dawn. Again another character I like this guy he's a diorama base b he's got that beautiful heresy colors the beautiful yellow and black armor from the heresy but this here is that first inkling of the Black Templars so it's kind of starting the successes. And again, it's heresy, so it's got all these little details on the shins here. I think it's just really impressive. It's a really beautiful sculpt. And yeah, just genuinely very impressive. Again, another Horus Heresy character. This guy's got a shield. I always like shields on my uh, on my Space Marines. Or just on my characters generally, because it makes sense when you've got medieval style art. But medieval weapons have a sci-fi medieval shield. I think... There's a lot of Horus Heresy representation in this video, but that's because the Imperial Fists and the Sons of Horus were the two armies they decided to make the poster children for the game system when they really when they did Horus Heresy 2.0. So as a result, a lot of things that look very specifically Imperial Fists as opposed to general Space Marines units are from that Horus Heresy setting. This guy, again, it's that more black trim, but still that yellow and black trim done incredibly well. And this guy, it looks like they've done a, the, the pink base coat. You can kind of see it in the eyes and kind of see it in that cross. Again, just a saw, he's a really dynamic pose. And he's a really brilliant looking character. So really enjoyable having the Imperial Fist there. And then these two, same deal, that black and the gold. But again, Horus Heresy, these expert kits, having this banner that looks like it's been painted freehand. I, oh, if you can paint banners freehand, I have so much respect for, your, for you and your skills. Again, I love this little tank. It's kind of cute. This gun here, it's got the cow thing here. It's a nice blocky vehicle. I just think it's really nice. It'd be brilliant to have three of them, uh, or three squadrons of them even, to just to... You know, stack for storage and just plow them out. Another one, this is everything I like about Warhammer vehicles, but to the extreme. It's another blocky thing with guns on the side. The caterpillar treads going all the way around. Just a really nice looking vehicle in my view. Like I'd love to I'd love to run three squadrons. Units of Marines, I think these guys are really cool. Combination of power fists, melee weapons, and also a lot of these claws. I think these claws look absolutely savage. And especially from Terminators, it's that doom you're watching coming from far away. Like Freddy Krueger coming down the coming down that hallway. And again, the flamers. Flamers are such cool weapons. They're just so horrifying and metal. I love them. So these guys having flamers as well as normal guns and a power fist here, and the Freddy Krueger claws. Chef's kiss, glorious. They're Dreadnought. I'm a huge fan of Dreadnoughts. I love the concept of the warrior, uh, uh, of this kind of walking coffin, we coffin weapon. But one last one last go at you know, serving your Imperium. I love the guns on this thing. I love, I love this four-way gun here. I think that looks really cool. And this that I just looks like it's going to rotate around rapid speed when being fired in these flame weapons here it's all guns all the time and it's just glorious another brilliant vehicle the lap it looks like a land raider i like this this bit because it actually opens up i love the weapons this little guy is just popping out i think it's just a really really cool looking weapon really cool looking guy love these vehicles love 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 these vehicles another champion Raising his sword on high. Now, just to think about this, that sword looks like it's as tall as him. So that's like an 11 foot long sword. That's ludicrous and glorious. And to be honest, ludicrous and glorious, that's what I want from 40k. That's what I want from Horus Heresy. It's a brilliant looking weapon. I love, I love how extreme and goofy this is. 
dual wielding axes. I love axes as weapons. I think that's really cool. It's got a shield in his back when he wants to only single wield an axe. It's got the he's got the uh, shield thing there. Really cool looking model. Love the weaponry. Love how this guy's kitted out. An absolute melee beast. Okay, and this is the final slide. Just a couple of cool looking Horus Heresy models. Love the weapons. Love how they've been done up. The Mark III armor, I believe, and another beautiful freehand painted uh, banner. And to, just to go through, that's just me going through a few of these Imperial Fist models that I just really like. I love the color scheme. I love that placement in the lore. I love how central they're becoming for the Horus Heresy si uh, game system. And I really just enjoy the fact that that, that placement of them as being these, uh, you know, these siege warfare masters, but from inside the siege, the building of the fortifications. I think that's a really, in, that's a really interesting placement to have in your grand armies, and I think it's just a really good thing to have in the setting. And who can't not love Rogal Dawn? Uh, with that, I will say that's the end of this episode. Bit of a shorter one today, but the, again, a lot of the really awesome Imperial Fist models are also spec you know, General Space Marines models. I think question of the day is, do you want Rogal Dawn to come back as you know, into the 40k setting, or do you prefer him to kind of stay dead? If you want to comment your answer to that question below, that'd be really great. If you want to comment anything else, also brilliant as well. If you want to like this video, that you know that, that helps me out as well. If you want to subscribe, that'd be brilliant too. More relentless positivity coming your way. Uh, I've got a link to a Patreon in the description if you want these videos to keep on coming. And with that, I'm going to say have a really good day and I'll see you next time.